for the purpose of this demonstration, I focus on two videos. So after identifying the two videos, what I did was I first have to get access to the videos. So I went to um, Google Chrome. There's a browser that I went to. And then I was able to, I have a link here in case you want to have access to the Encapture. So Encapture is a tool that can help you to extract information online so that you can send that information to in vivo. So um, you can get access to that for free. And then you can go to is Google Chrome and then you'll be able to get access to the extension, right? So you click here and search for that information um, and you'll be able to get access. After you have uploaded it, now what we have to do is that we want to get access to all the data and send them to in vivo, right? So that we have the original data there and we can reference that data if we want to. So, so this is the video that I'm talking about, right? So when you open that video, you go to the uh, and capture, and then we are only downloading the video, right? So you go to video only, you click on that and you click on capture, right? You have to click on capture. So when you click on capture and then uh, it's now scanning and trying to download. So when it's finished, you can go there and click on show. And then you'll be able to, you know, the, now the video has been downloaded, right? Now, what you have to do is to go to in vivo, right? And then you open, now I've opened a new project, right? You can give it, it any, any name that you want and you click on next and you click on create. You go to import and you go to encapture, right? And then you look for the document. Normally it's the system downloaded on, um, when I go to downloads on my computer, I have all the list of the things that I've downloaded, right? Um, related to the project, right? So you choose the one that you want to import, right? So uh, you can unselect everything and select the one that you want to import. So maybe I want to import this one and I click on import and then the system will, you have that information here. You can double click to see the video. Now that you have the original video, right? You can also import the transcript. I can go to, you see the dots here and click on shows transcript. And then I can um, copy the transcript. So when you copy, you put it on the Word document, right? You copy that and put it on the Word document. So let me show you how, how it will look like on the, um, the Word document. Okay, so this is what you're going to see, right? when you put it on the Word document, then you save it and close it. So when you save it and close it, you go back to in vivo, and then you click on this import here, and then you can browse and look for the document. And then I go here, I, click, uh, I choose timestamp, and it will preview for you to see how it will look like and then click on okay. So you can see that I have the, uh, um, the transcript here. The next one is to manage the, uh, the data that you have. So there's another um, extension called YouTube Summary with Chat GPT. You upload or download it to, as an extension here, right? So you can see here that it's YouTube Summary um, to chat GPT. And another thing that you have to do is that you have to open your chat GPT account. It's very important, right? So, because what it's gonna do is that the system is going to extract the transcript from the YouTube and then put straight to, uh, to chat GPT so that the system, chat GPT can summarize that information for you. So when you finish um, having the extension here, you can click on extension and make sure that the setting is right for you. Then when you, you are done, you just, you know, leave this one alone and go to the video. And you see the sign here, because I've, I have the extension here, this uh, open AI sign or chat GPT sign is here. So when I click on that, it will take me to the uh, chat GPT and then the transcript will come to chat GPT.
what you can do here is copy this information and put it on a Word document, the summary on Word document, and then you can save it. When you save that information, you go back to in vivo and then you import that document. You have to bring the summary here, right? You go to import, you click here, you look for the summary that you have saved. You double click that, you go to import and you bring that information here, right? So I have the summary here. I double click on it and start analyzing my data, right? Based on my research question that I have. There are a lot of ways to do a check and balance, right? Make sure that the information that you are generating is very important, right? Or is credible. So now you see that I started by saying that we have a huge amount of data, right? It's humanly impossible to analyze. Now you are using a software, you are working with the software. The software is just like your research assistant. You ask your research assistant, can you summarize this one for me? You collect that information, the summary, and as the leader, you have to go through the summary and do the coding to address your research question. And then even that you can compare the code that you have developed with the original data that you have in, in vivo. So that's how we can use this software. You cannot overly depend on AI tools to do your analysis or do your research. You have to use AI tools as a way of facilitating the process.